Are you are we good to roll? Yeah. <laughs> but it's like not that cold. Not cold. Okay. I'm just wearing this so I don't look too fat. <laughs> it's not working. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is our East Coast. My name is Eli. And I'm Fawn. And we are back. We are back this time with a product review, right? Yes. But maybe don't get used to it because we still <laughs> still might be behind on video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The RV season is just about to get started. We are bringing our RV home today. We're really yeah. excited because for the first time, we can have the RV at home. So let's see how that goes. Yep. So what are we talking about today? Okay, so today we are finishing up our review of this Set Power fridge freezer plug-in thingy. <laughs> This yeah. fridge freezer plug-in thingy we have been <laughs> testing out for over a month, right? So we yeah, put you've it been testing it out with the beer in here. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I actually have one last <laughs> test <laughs> to run, you know, like, yeah. So as I was telling you, okay. you should tell them what time is it, by the way. 9.03 in the morning. You're going to look like an alcoholic. Put it down. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. Anyways, we have been testing this thing for a while. We did a few different tests which we're gonna share with you. Let's put a quick disclaimer. First, we were sent um, this unit by Set Powers. However, we are not getting paid for saying anything good or bad about the unit. They have absolutely no saying in this video. In fact, they don't get to see the video until we post it. Mm -hmm. so, so there's our that honest opinion about it yeah but with that being said we have been wanting this for a while yeah so i know i mean now we are fortunate that we have a home where we can have our rv parked mm -hmm. um but for four years we lived in a townhouse and we had our rv in storage 20 minutes away yeah so we didn't have the luxury of really going and turning on the fridge before we left for a trip Mm -hmm. We didn't even have the luxury of <clears throat> bringing the RV closer to home before we left for a trip. We'd pretty much just go pick it up and be on our way. Yeah. So it made it difficult with the fridge because if we wanted to take anything with us, we had to pack a cooler with a bunch of ice packs or whatever because we didn't have, um, you know, the RV fridges take a while to yeah. cool down. That's something that we didn't, we didn't know uh, when we started RVing. And that's, that's one of the pain points. Um, an RV refrigerator, if you're a new RVer, usually cools one to two degrees per hour. That means that it takes a whole day for that thing to reach temperature. Because of that, this solves an actual problem for us because this thing reaches temperature uh, between 20 to 30 minutes is totally yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of times like you do want to take some stuff from home because, you know, I think we talk about this in one of our early videos. One of the things we've wasted a lot of money on is we would go somewhere, we'd purchase like butter and eggs, and then we'd end up bringing it home. And then we have like three cartons of eggs in our fridge. So a lot of times you do want to take things that you have at home with you to save money buying those condiments, mayonnaise, and stuff like that all yeah. over again. Something I really like about this unit is that you can set it up both as a freezer and also as a refrigerator and when i say as a freezer this thing can get can get really cold you can put an entire turkey here and it's gonna get rock solid uh well you don't know why someone... you would want to put an entire well uh, people rv for thanksgiving <laughs> yeah but can you even cook a whole turkey in a small rv well the oven? thing is that this is not only designed for rving in case that idea never oh, crossed okay. your mind that's true actually uh, now that we are uh, moving into this new home, I kept this guy full of beer <laughs> here for for myself and the guy is helping us uh, yeah. uh, with the constru construction. So let's and that's, talk. Yeah, that's been nice. Not your beer, but <laughs> we have a smaller refrigerator at our new house and yeah. it's been nice to have extra space. Yeah. 
Um, before we get into the details about the unit, the last thing I like for the traveling aspect of it is that there are many options about this. You can keep it in the back seat of your car or your truck, plug it to the 12 volt uh, uh, outlet, or you can put it in the in the trunk. Many uh, SUVs and uh, have a 12 volt outlet in the back, and some trucks even have a 12 volt in the bed of the truck. This so, is yours? No, mine no. doesn't. But you can actually get a 12 volt from the hitch, or you can also keep it in the RV if you have a 12 volt uh, unit. Yeah. Uh, you can also connect it to the wall outlet if you get the power adapter. It comes with a 12 volt adapter, uh, but you can, if you want the one, if you want the 110, the one that you use for home, you have to buy that separately. Okay, so tell me more about this cooler thing and what you like about All it. All right, uh, the things I like about it, of course, the first one is the ability of using 12 volt power or 110 if you're connect, uh, at the house. But let's talk about the design. Here in the top, you have four little cup holders, which I like. You have a nice LCD screen that gives you all the information, uh, how much power um, your battery has, if you're using it with a battery. It tells you the temperature, the desired temperature, and the actual temperature inside the unit. On the side, it has this, um, this um, what you call this? Handle. Handle. Um, well, like the little hole. So it's easy to lift. Or you have this kind of handle. Yeah, you can put these little uh, straps, which is actually easy um, when you have it really loaded, you know, uh, yeah. when you have a lot of when stuff. you have two people. Yeah. There's a bottle opener here. And another one on this side. Oh. So, you know. For your many bottles. <laughs> um, about the capacity. This is, uh, let me see, this is a 37 quarts. Okay, so that's bigger than the, the Yeti and the Ozark Trail, which I think were 26 quarts. Yeah, and that's, that's a total of 52 mm -hmm. cans. 52 cans of beer you can put in here. Or soda. Beer is more important than food. Or bubbly, or <laughs> juice boxes. <laughs> um, another good thing to mention is that you get extra real estate inside the unit because you don't need ice. Oh, so, yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. Ice and ice packs take up a lot of space. Yeah. So uh, the other thing I like is that it has a nice rubber seal. Um, that means that when you close it, the cold is going to stay in, uh, in there. We actually did one little test where we tested this just using it as a regular cooler, um, and it actually did better than the, than the regular cooler. All right, what do you have here? All right, so yesterday I put a bag of ice on each cooler. The set power is not running, just checking how it works without power, like a regular cooler. So now I'm gonna open it. It's been 24 hours, exactly 24 hours. So let's check the regular cooler. You can see in here, I have about half of the bag of ice. Yeah, so about half, you melt it by half. Now this is the set power with no, no power. So let's see, uh, I might open the right side. This. Oh, wow, this is surprising, look at this. It's almost the entire bag. So I'm actually very surprised by that. It is much better than the regular cooler, even with no, with no power. Something good too is that it has a two-way door system. That means that if you wanted to open the, op the opposite way, you can just move the door to this side and oh, okay. you have you can readjust this little strap here last thing i like last two things they really think this th through they really thought it through they really thought <laughs> they really thought it th through through 
<laughs> so if you if if you come on this side, so I can show you. So let's say you are traveling on um, a pop-up trailer, and you have to put this in a corner. Of course, they recommend that you have some distance, especially when you're running it. But if for some reason it shifts to the side or something, you have this, this wall here is in an angle. That yeah. means the hot air coming out of the motor is gonna have a place to escape. So okay. I thought that that was a nice design. That is nice. Yeah. Another thing that is important to mention is that this thing is roughly, I'm gonna say what? Maybe like... 30 pounds? No, maybe like, like 19, maybe 20 pounds. So once you load it with food, it can get pretty heavy. So there are two things for that. Number one, you have the straps, so you can carry it between two people easily. Or you have these little uh, screws here. You can take those off and you can put wheels on it. Oh. It comes with the wheels. I don't, I don't have them on right now, but you can just drag you it. You don't need them. You're strong. There you go. <laughs> but um, overall, we really like this unit. Okay. We did a couple tests, with re which we are going to share with you now. Maybe, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video, so maybe I already show you one of the tests. But here's another one. All right, so are we ready for the next test? Yes. So it looks like we are doing a test here to see how long maybe our cooler can be powered using our, what is this, a solar? What is so this is the EcoFlow Delta power station. This is what we use on a boondocking scenario. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you make that face? You're making fun oh, of me. I had no idea. Like, <laughs> so what we are trying to figure out is how this thing is going to perform on a boondocking scenario or maybe someone camping, mm -hmm. tank camping for a weekend. Yeah. Not everybody has a battery as big as this one uh, that we have. Um, this one we can fully charge it in about two and a half hours and with a solar panel in a perfect sunny day you can get it, get it roughly around 90, 95% fully charged throughout a whole day of sun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, on a regular uh, boondocking night, with this we can run our TV, uh, we can make coffee, we can open our slide outs, Charge we can have... Charge electronics. Yeah. It has USB ports. Yeah. So we are going to let it run in for 24 hours. It's fully charged, 100%. We just want to know how much charge we are yeah. going to have left um, after running it for 24 hours. I think we probably won't have a lot because I used it once over the summer overnight and ran a fan all night and it did suck, I'd say, 60% of the battery out of it. Mm -hmm. So my guess is that we probably won't have a lot of power left here. After 24 hours? After 24 hours. Well, let's check. I think it's going to have quite a bit of charge left after 24 hours because the, the motor is not running the whole time. So there's only one way to find out. Are we making any bets here? Any bets? All right, below or over 50%? Does it bet? Uh, yeah, I'm saying below. You're saying below 50%? Yes. I'm going to see we're going to have over 50% after running this thing for 24 hours. But let's figure it out. But you've been wrong before, right? Yeah. <laughs> OK. What's going to be the price for the winner? Um, hmm. <laughs> maybe dinner of the person's choosing. You get to pick where we... Pick where or what you, the other person makes. So if I pick something that you don't like at all, you're going to say yes to that. You're going to make me make like seafood? Maybe. Uh, I'll order that. That's... <laughs> all right, let's check back in 24 hours. All right, so we're back. It's been roughly 24 hours. We've been running our set power refrigerator set at 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, one hour battery pack here. Yes. We and have I can already, already see the, the results. So. I said it was going to be, I, felt, I thought it was going to use a decent amount of power. Mm -hmm. You were um, hopeful. Yes. So. So the results are that it has, it is now at 39% battery life left. Yeah. So, there you so go. I won. 
Yeah, do more. Again. Do, is there anything about this cooler that you don't like? Um, that is a good question. I haven't found anything that I don't like about it. Well, maybe one thing, maybe one thing. When you set up the temperature, I, I actually put another thermometer inside and sometimes you set up the temperature and the freezer is actually running two, one to two degrees colder than what you set it up to. That's actually not a bad thing because for, for a refrigerator, you actually want it to be colder mm -hmm. so it can be safe, especially if you're putting here uh, things that could harm you like, like meats and dairy, like you want those to stay a proper temperature. So the, 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 the dialing the, the settings can be off by one or two degrees based on my um, test. Yeah. But uh, overall, we really like okay. it. What are, you, what well, are our conclusions about it? Well, let's talk about the price because, you know, if this is expensive product, then... Who cares might, about the price? It might deter some people from wanting to get it. So what yeah. is the price of something like this? So this unit runs right now for about $235. Okay. As the moment that we are recording this video. Um, That's actually not bad because like the Yeti cooler was what, like $240? And yes. And it's not anything that you can plug in, so... Yeah. If you are new to the channel, uh, um, a few weeks ago we did a test. A few months ago. A few months ago. What was that test about? We compared um, a Yeti with a $250 cooler to like an Ozark Trail cooler, which was like 40 I forget uh, how much that was. Around $50. Okay. We compared to see if the Yeti really held the, the temperature much better, which we did find out that it did. Yeah. Um, but again, it was around the same price, and yet this one can plug in, can be a freezer, you don't need ice. So yeah. maybe this is a better investment. I don't know. Yeah, so if, if, if I was to invest over $200 in a Yeti, I think I would definitely go with this one too, because it works as a regular cooler. Like, even if you don't have power, it's going to keep things cold yeah. for a pretty decent amount of time. And then you can use it at home, at the RV, in the car. It, you know, it has so many uses. So I think it's a good investment, uh, and we are really happy with it. Yeah. yeah. Now I want to see if I have a USB port. Not a USB. A, a what is it? A 12 volt. A 12 volt. You in do. My That's car. 12, 12 volt is a cigarette uh, outlet. But I mean, in the back, in the back of my SUV. Okay. I want to see. Because right. then we can take it like on hikes or picnics or. Or you and your girls while on my outings. Girls weekend. <laughs> 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 yeah, last time we had too many wine bottles. We had to put them in the <laughs> car. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so let's tell our viewers where they can get one of these bad boys and do they come in pink? No. Okay. Why? What? <laughs> Sometimes you want a different color. You want your cooler to represent you. You're not even that kind of girl. I know. Are you? <laughs> but maybe, maybe they do. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. But well, where can we get one of these things? You can go to Set Power's website. We're going to put a link in the description below. I believe they sent a a discount code oh yeah they did a 12 percent discount so we will have that in our link below so that if you want one you can get that that discount yeah so it was great timing for set power to so send us this unit because i have been talking about getting one for a while so really it was just good timing we were thinking about it they reached out to us and yeah we are really happy with the unit and that's what we have yeah. For you today, what's yeah. next for our bees Coast? Okay, so what is next? We do have a trip coming up in April, which is soon. Yes. Um, and what else? I don't know. Yeah, we, we have <laughs> quite a few things. As, as we told you, we have been just so swamped with work. I personally have been the busiest at work that I have been in my entire life. Uh, and that is good, that is good for business, but it's not good for, for the channel. 
Um, also, you you have a new job too. Uh, yeah. We moved to the new house, so we really want to put more videos out, but we are really working at capacity, right? Yeah. 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 Um, I do have a few things that I am going to install in the truck. Next week, I'm going to put a camera from Halo View. It's the same camera we have on the back of the trailer. Uh, but this one is going to give me a backup camera for the truck, which I'm really excited about. But also, it's going to give me two side cameras for the trailer. So yeah. when, we, when we back into a site, I'll be able to look behind the trailer and also on the site. So I'm really excited about that. Stay tuned for that video, yeah. probably in a couple weeks. And a couple people asked me on Facebook recently about stickers. I think I said, ask me after we move. Yeah. <laughs> because it was just too much for me to think about. Um, but we're moved, we're mostly settled in. We, besides you organizing some stuff, we mostly have everything organized. So if you are interested in stickers, please send us a message on Facebook or go to our website, which is rveeastcoast.com. You don't know our website? rveeastcoast.com? <laughs> is that our website? I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, rveeastcoast.com. Ah, so either go to the, to the website or go to our Facebook, send a message with they're, they're um, two for five bucks. So send a message on your address and I will send you our PayPal link and we can get stickers sent out. So yeah, but thanks for all your support and for yeah. continuing to be patient with us. Yeah, thank you so much, thank you. Uh, uh, so many people that send later messages on Facebook and posts asking, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, we, it really means a lot to us, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Enough, so we'll see you in the next one. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.